Hello, I'm back again. This is how to do boots for a row horse. Again, I'm using the same material I used for this, which is this. Both same size, stick back plastic, just on one bit so far, just on one end. Right, now you stick that. I'm doing it further up the leg because this bit's a bit thin on this one. So I'm just doing it up here. That's alright, let me just see what that looks like. Mm, it's alright, I suppose. Yeah, we'll do it up here. So you get, stick that plastic side. And you stick that on the horse's leg. And then, another bit just don't have to un don't have to cut it or anything yet all right and then you twist that around the horse's leg and then you Then you get to pick up plastic, stick it on the end where it hasn't been put, like so. Take the back off, which one you do actually. Then stick that. One up there. I like modelling on this horse because he's best for it. Even though you can see the bandage line at the front. It doesn't really matter, you can do it anywhere, I just did it that way, it's quickest. This is one done. You should have another piece of stick elastic, it's without the Back. This is with the back on it as well. Um, and then make that the right size to go around the horse leg about the same time as that, just twice. Um, put stick wrap plastic on it, take the white back off so it's just sticky. On both sides, so one stuck like so again. Stick that on your horse's leg, wrap it round but again, and then when you get to that bit, just stick the tape on it now. You may as well. That's what I'm doing. Because it's so much easier. Back off. That was easy, that one. And you go around as many times as you can. Stick it on. And there we go. There's two bandages done. When you take it off, the paint doesn't come off with it either. Well, it hasn't on mine. So, I don't know if it will on yours or not. But yeah, thank you anyway. Bye.